how to adjust timing because you also might notice that there's no timeline. What kind of compositing app has no layers panel and no timeline? What the hell is even that? <laughs> All is not lost. If we go over here to keyframes, we click on this little button, that's gonna bring up kind of a timeline. This is where we can adjust the timing of any of our clips. And so I could take this rain1.mov and I can move this back and forth and use different parts of it. I can have it end a little sooner if I want to, so it kind of runs out. And I can do some kind of basic editing and retiming things here by sliding it back and forth. I can even grab the edge of this if I'm real gentle and I can trim this clip and kind of move it around just like I would in the edit page, but here inside of Fusion. So a lot of people get really confused about how do I adjust the timing in Fusion? This is how you do it with the keyframes panel. You move it back and forth like this, and it's not really obvious because it's not called timing or timeline or anything with time, it's called keyframes. And half the time you're not even adjusting keyframes here, you're adjusting when things happen. So you can kind of think of it as like the animation, the motion panel. So now we have this part of our rain on top of our footage. Oh, baby. I have a free course right here on YouTube that'll teach you everything you need to know about visual effects in Fusion. Click right there.